Welcome back and thank you very much for staying with us. Legal experts say lit litigation is no walk in the park, especially when it comes to cost. It's often the case that worthwhile cases don't see the light of day because of financial constraints. However, that's about to change with a new 80 million rent fund available to finance cases that may not have otherwise been able to proceed. It's crucial to go into litigation knowing that you have the most effective legal team on your side and that you cannot be bullied by any opponent with deeper pockets. To talk about this is, uh, of course, uh, uh, one of uh, our guests who's going to take us through our uh, legal issues regarding uh, litigation, who is Simon Cooper, who is the co-founder and director at Taurus Capital. Thank you very much for coming through, Simon. Thank you, Colin. Good afternoon to you and your viewers. All right. Give us a brief overview of what litigation funding is and how useful is it for an average man on the street? Litigation funding is a transaction whereby a third party unrelated to the litigation invests in the litigation by funding the legal fees for the claimant to pay for its lawyers and experts in return for the share of the proceeds if that litigation is successful. If it's not successful, then the funder would have lost its investment. So the benefit is it allows claims which otherwise would have been unable to proceed. They would have to be abandoned. Alternatively, they would have had to be settled for far less than their true value. That is the benefit of litigation funding. So what, what kind of cases are we looking at and who is the litigant here? The litigant is a claimant, not a defendant usually, and we're talking about commercial litigation claims. So it's usually business disputes, shareholders, holder disputes, arbitrations, commercial court uh, actions, and they generally high value. And when I say high value, above a threshold, I would say 10 million, uh, but claims could stretch into much larger amounts than that. The average legal fees for a commercial litigation is anywhere between 2 and 20 million rand for each party. So are we talking about cases like, for example, in a community where there's been water pollution by a mine and the community wants to take the mine management head on, or perhaps a community wanting to sue the municipality for failing to deliver services? Is, that kind of, is it that kind of lit litigation? That litigation falls into the class action arena and litigation funding would be a great solution for that because often the litigants aren't sure where to turn. Between them, individually, they aren't able to fund a class action of that nature, but taken together and provided and to get funding from a litigation funder to provide that funding, you will be able to obtain uh, the resources required to litigate a defendant, in this case, for example, a municipality or a corporate, which is far more resourced than the class of litigants. That is one That is one uh, type of litigation that litigation funding can assist. The other type is the more garden variety commercial disputes that happen every day in business. Um, they don't have as, as much of a social justice element to what you're saying, but the prejudice to business is the same. There's always a dominant defendant to try everything they can uh, to use their resources to make sure that litigation, litigation stretches as long as possible for as much as possible. So then the, the, the issue of who raised this money, the, the 80 million rent fund uh, by Taurus Capital, who are your stakeholders, especially during the global pandemic, you managed to uh, raise such a substantial amount of money? Indeed. And that is, due, that is because of two reasons. The first is our stakeholders, as you, as you say, is private equity and high net worth individuals that make up our fund and provide us that funding because funding litigation is a wonderful asset class that can give you uncorrelated risk adjusted return, returns, which is a great thing for any investment portfolio. And these returns is, can be a lot higher than what you get in the stock market because it's uncorrelated to that stock market. The other reason why we were successful in raising this amount of money is because of demand. A lot of people picture a litigation funding claimant to be a David versus Goliath and David in the sense of they're unable to afford the litigation, but that's not the case. 
the, the claimants that we are inquiring of us now have resources, but during a pandemic, they would prefer to focus their resources on income generating activities to budget their financials during this difficult time on, on surer bets than funding litigation, which can be very expensive. So we're seeing litigants across the board that are, resor that are resourced, but are looking for a smart way to approach litigation. So, so what's the cost benefit analysis and what's in it for Taurus Capital? Well, t we look at it. The, the, we look at it on a basis of when you have a portfolio of these kind of investments, there'll be winners and there'll be losers, and you want to be able to win more than you lose ultimately. And the risk-adjusted returns that we can receive for our, for our investors falls into that category. But the real benefit, I would say, is aside from the litigants, it's also to the legal teams and the attorneys. Is very often you'll find a litigation is compromised because of a limited budget, so they aren't able to litigate boldly, and they aren't able to choose the best experts and counsel and resources that are required to fund a litigation to finality. And often in, in litigation, you can't have scared money and you can't have limited resources because a defendant will find those chinks in your arm and take advantage of it. All right. Uh, one wishes that we could take this uh, discussion further so that we can break down one or two cases so that people can understand what litigation funding is. But, but I believe in our future discussion, we may look at a practical case and look at the possibilities of a win or a lose kind of situation so that people in layman terms can understand these issues. Because one would believe that in South Africa, even though many people are not really conversant with class action, they would like to be educated uh, in as far as this subject is concerned. So thank you so much. I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Colin, and wishing you and your, uh, your viewers a great afternoon. All right. Well, appreciate it. Uh, Simon Cooper there, who is with Taurus Capital. And, of course, uh, we are now continuing with the coverage at the State Capture Commission.